is your memory going like mine? There are a lot of times where I don't feel like I remember hardly anything. I can't tell you how many times my wife will text me when I'm at the store working, hey, bring home some pork chops to grill tonight. And I say, sounds great. I get home and my wife says, so where's the pork chops? <laughs> Still at the store, honey. <laughs> Or there'll be an opportunity where I'm going to go into another room and, gosh, I just don't remember what, I, what I'm doing in here. You ever get like this? Or, man, where's my shoes? And my wife will look at me and say, they're on your feet. Or I'm driving. And I think, oh, man, where's my keys at? In the ignition, I'm driving. You ever feel like you just don't remember things or you need to be reminded of why you're doing something? You know, as we live out our Christian lives, sometimes we need to be reminded as to what in the world's going on here. And as we go through hard times and as we go through times that aren't as nice as other times, and when life gets really tough and it's not all sunshine and rainbows, wouldn't it be great if you had some sort of instructions on what to do and why you're doing it? Well, that's what we're going through in 1 Peter. We're getting into this section about behaving appropriately. Because when you do go through tough stuff, sometimes it's really easy to fall off the deep end. It's really easy to just give in to temptation. It's really easy to give in to desires. It's really easy to get off track with the Lord when you're going through hard times. You think to yourself, well, I'm already in this deep. I might as well do this or do that. No, 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 no. You're supposed to be behaving appropriately even when life isn't sunshine and rainbows you need to behave appropriately and this is what we started looking at last week the first way we looked at this how can we know if we're behaving appropriately is by our conformity are you conforming to what god wants you to do be holy as i am holy but now today this next part is by your conduct are you doing what you're supposed to be doing beyond just who you are but what are you doing verses 17 through 21 of 1 Peter chapter 1, It goes, it's going to go a little something like this. And if you call on the Father, who without partiality judges according to each one's work, conduct yourselves throughout the time, stay your time here in fear, knowing that you are not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot, he indeed was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are in God. If you're supposed to have and maintain proper conduct, why? Why? What's the point of it? I'm already in this deep. What's, what's eating one more cookie when my tummy already hurts? They're delicious. You're supposed to maintain proper conduct even when times are tough. And he tells us exactly why. Sometimes we need to be reminded why. Why? Why are you going to do this? Why? What is, what is going on here? Why? 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 He says that God is going to judge each one's work. Your work's going to be judged, so you better maintain proper conduct. But he's going to go further than that knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things. You know, you were bought with a price. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He paid the ultimate price for you. That doesn't mean that you can just go and sin and be bad and rebel just because life isn't going the way you want it to. You were redeemed with the precious blood of Christ. Not silver, not gold. You weren't redeemed by your own aimless conduct, your own aimless traditions. You weren't, re you weren't redeemed by the traditions of your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ. You were redeemed, a lamb without blemish and without spot. He was foreordained before the foundation of the world. This was decided for you a long time ago, and you're just going to go party hard now just because things aren't going the way you want it to? You need to behave appropriately with proper conduct in spite of all the nonsense you're, you're going through. He was manifest in these times for you, and you have a responsibility to maintain your integrity even when life is tough.